Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm, Kenachin Team Shadow Strike. I hope you all are doing well. First off, I want to apologize. It's been a while since I've done a video, and I know, guys. Um, um, but before I get into this, which it is going to be an updated deck profile, I actually have a few updated deck profiles here for you guys. Um, first couple announcements. Number one, my new Trade Binder video will be up tomorrow. I have to get it completely reorganized. It's been real messy. If you are looking for um, some stuff, there's probably going to be... Um, uh, quite a bit of new stuff in there. Um, I just gotta rearrange it to. I don't like having my trade binder all over the place, guys. Um, maybe that's just me being a neat freak. I'm really not that organized of a person, but I just like my trade binder to look organized. I know I'm weird. Leave me alone. Um, second of all, um, prizes for the contest. They will be shipped out tomorrow, guys. I'm going to the post office um, tomorrow um, on my lunch break from work. Um, guys, one of the jobs that I actually have two jobs. Um, one of the jobs is I work for my grandfather's construction company, and to um, the main people who won in my last contest, you need to understand in the summer it is a very hard time because we work out in the sun and um, we start real early so we can avoid the heat. By heat, I mean 100 plus degree weather. So if you live in the southern part of the United States or you live in a country that is known to very have very hot climate, you will probably understand what I mean by this. And I have been working in a house um, on a roof and inside the house ranging from four in the morning um go, so basically going to work before uh four in the morning five in the morning i apologize um before um the post office is even open and by the time i get off work guys it, the post office is either a it's closed or b i i am drained guys so i apologize i did not take that into account when i was having this contest and i forgot to mention to you guys that it might be a little bit longer for me to ship them out not because i was avoiding it it's just because my time is very hectic in the summer um i do a lot of things i help coach a football team around here where i live um for a summer league and then i help coach six to eighth grade kids during uh junior high and school time around that so I, I stay very busy and it was pretty much right after I got off to work I had to either go to practice or I had to do other things so um, I am off tomorrow tomorrow is pretty much my free day I'm gonna be doing school work as well um, but on my lunch break from uh, work before I get um, I'm going to uh, go to the post office and get those things shipped out to you guys so they will be out in the mail I will email all three of you and let you know that they have been shipped. Um, if, uh, but I'm, um, for tomorrow, I'm actually going to work at my other job that's a game store called GameStop, if you've heard of it. I'll be there working, and then on my lunch break, I will be going to uh, the post office to ship that out. And then when I get home, I'll be doing videos for you guys, and I'll be finishing up a 25 page paper that's due in probably three weeks. Um, so. Anyway, guys, um, thank you for being understanding. Um, this is not going to slow down um, the uh, Trade Binder giveaway that I'm doing for uh, my August monthly giveaway. I actually already have the binder. It's in my room. It's in plastic wrap and everything, and it's ready to go. It is the 26th, so if you have not done my August monthly excuse me, August monthly giveaway yet, you still have time to enter. Um, as of September 1st, the it'll be uh, done and I will be announcing not only the winner of uh, my August monthly giveaway but in my next video following it it will be my September monthly giveaway so also in the September monthly giveaway video you can expect the winner from the August one and the new one uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do for September yet I have a couple ideas but I'm still kind of <clears throat> getting everything in order so trade binder up tomorrow people um, who placed in my last contest will your prizes will be shipped out tomorrow and uh, excuse me guys, more videos will be coming tomorrow as well. So I'm going to be spending the next couple days just playing catch up. So if there is any kind of videos that you want to see, post, um, send me an email, leave it in the comment to a video and tell me what it is. Um, I will be, so I can do a video for you guys. So anyway, let's jump straight into this deck profile update. Well, as you heard me say, this is for my Ezel deck profile. Um, some time to test with this since, um, cause it's actually set 15, uh, sneak peek is two, three weeks away. Um, I've done quite a bit of play testing with Ezel. I have one more build that I want to work on with Ezel. I don't want to spoil that quite yet. Um, but this one is the next one that I'm working on. Uh, the thing that, that really irritates me about Ezel decks and specifically this one is because... 
I don't know what it is. It, it, it it's, it's weird. I think they waited to give Ezel a new form too early. Maybe they should have given us more Ezel cards, but I don't know what it is. Um, but it maybe it's just me. Um, but Ezel will always hold a special place in my heart because I love Ezel. He's a lion and I'm a Leo. So, <laughs> but um, I have one more build I want to want to try out and it's going to be probably the most unlike any other but it's going to take me a while to get the cards to do it so um until then this is going to be the build that i'm going to run with because it seems like it's going to be a little more consistent um than the last one that i was having a few problems with so i will um, explain to you my changes and why i made them so for the starter i'm still playing karia i think this is the best one because it gets you a plus two now even if you pull triggers out of the deck there's still pluses um, you don't want to do that, but it is good. Um, if you want to play the Superior Ride, you can. I just don't like having to commit that many cards to the deck. Um, even though I have put a lot of the Superior Ride cards back in here, um, mainly just because of their consistency, but no, I just don't want to do that. Um, but if you want to play the Superior Ride um, Crimson Lion Criff, um, you can. It, there's nothing wrong with it, I just don't want to. For my triggers, I did change up one thing. I'm playing four um, Flame of Hope, uh, Flame of Victory, and two Donticles, so six Crit, four Speeder Hound, and two Weapons Deal Gwydion. So I'm playing six Crit, six Draw, and uh, then of course the four Standard Heal triggers. Now, <clears throat> the reason I decided to up my Draw Trigger count is because I was I, I was playing um, Listener of Truth Dendrains. Um, the only problem with that is I was rarely hitting it, and I thought at first it seemed like a good idea, and occasionally I would hit it, and it would turn out great, but at the same time, you do have to Soul Blast one, but I figured with the Lions, it was balancing it out, but it was in a way sometimes hurting me. Um, but it was a good idea that just didn't turn out to be as good as I thought it would be. So, anywho, six crit, six draw, four heal. Grade ones. We are playing four copies of Halo Shield. Mark. These are. This is a easy decision. You need perfect guards. Um, four copies of Sacred Twin Beast White Lion. This is still in uh, a, nece a necessity. It gets you a soul charge. It lets you put a, um, triggers back in the deck or key cards, and it gives you. Um, it can help you access your limit break early. Three copies of Knight of Elegant Skills Gareth. This is mainly just to be kind of the 12k attacker. It is a 20k column, and it is a very good booster to help you get high numbers. And then three copies of Knight of Passion Torre. Um, or Tori? Tori? Torre? Whatever. Um, he's basically a Ezel 10k attacker. I, I didn't want to play this at first because I don't like 10k attackers that only work when you're, when you're on grade 3. And now, if it was something like Spark Rain or Masquerade or something like that, that it says it has to be a Revenger or an Eradicator or a Liberator thing like that, then it would be good. But Ezel, since it, Ezel really doesn't have um, a Grade 1 ride or a Grade 2 ride, you know, I just didn't really see the point of doing it. But I, I am going to go with them for now um, just to see how they test. But um, I, it, they, they are still a solid 7K boost one way or the other. Grade twos. Four copies of Knight of Passion Bagdamagus. Bagdamagus is our uh, 12k attacker, so um, that's an easy decision. Four copies of Knight of Superior Skills Bowmanes. Um, I know I said I did not want to play the Superior Ride build, but the reason I'm playing this is because I was playing a couple copies of Vivian just to apply pressure. But the thing is, you want to have a solid body to ride. You don't want to ride Bagdemagus, obviously, because it's a 12k attacker. Um, having a 10k body is just easier because if your opponent attacks your Vanguard for 14 with their Vanguard, you can lay down a trigger or a 10k shield to no pass it, and it is easier to block because if you do have a 9k Vanguard, sometimes your opponent will rush you, and that leaves you with the force of either dropping cards out of your hand that you want to use to boost with or key cards to guard with later on, or just taking lots of damage. And taking a lot of damage in early game is not a good option for winning so i decided to up my um to put these back in there just to have a solid 10k body as my ride target and as well you know on a rear guard it's still a 10k vanilla so and then three copies of burning skill knight eli wood um mainly just so when we do ride our ezel we can get another card out of the deck um I'm, i dropped the, the the damage flipper now <laughs> 
The reason I found that adjustable is because in my grade one lineup, the only card that counterblasts is this. So I really don't think I need it because with Grand Ezel being able to unflip damage, I don't think it really is that need to play more damage flippers. Um, I mean, if you want to, you can, but I just don't see the point in it. Now for my grade three lineup, it didn't change at all. My grade three lineup is uh, still two incandescent lion blonde ezels, two uh, platina ezels, and then four grand ezel. Now, <clears throat> there is one thing I would change. Um, I think I would I I'd um, I would drop one of the incandescent lions and put in a third platina ezel, and then maybe drop the other. Uh, incandescent line altogether and then just put in something else maybe an extra grade one or a grade two but um this build overall i think is going to be the most consistent one that i've built yet um there is still one more i want to test and when i do get the cards for it i will show it to you guys but i don't know how long that's going to take it's just going to depend on can i find people that have the cards can i find people who are willing to deal the cards and if not how long will it take me to order them so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. In the comment section below, tell me, what do you think of this build? Do you have any suggestions? I'm open to suggestions, guys. Um, I love fiddling with Ezel decks. I think they're very interesting, but um, I've been sitting here looking at this for a couple of hours, and I really can't think of anything else of what to do with it except this right here. Um, it's built mainly just for consistency, being able to maintain a field, and um, apply pressure like Ezel's supposed to do. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. So in the comment section below, please leave me your feedback, your thoughts, comments, and suggestions. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so for all kinds of stuff, giveaways, uh, deck profiles, uh, trade binders, all kinds of fun stuff. And I have an open suggestion policy, so if there is ever a video you want to see, all you have to do is simply ask, and I will do my best to uh, answer your request. So thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's goodbye, and see you later.